Hey, what's going on with it, uh, ladies and gentlemen, fanboys and fangirls especially? This is the one, the only Mr. Criticism Guy 2009, a.k.a. Nintendo Freaks 111. And before I begin real quick, um, on my other channel, my Nintendo Freak channel, I'll be doing, a, not really an unboxing, just an opening pack of this shit, Triumphant, Heart, Gold, Soul, Silver. I usually do that once a month, so in about three weeks or less from now, I will as soon as I get a Mysterious, not Mysterious Treasures, Legendary Treasures, maybe two of those, or maybe another Triumphant with the Dialga Think Pack on, the pack cover on it, I'll be able to um, let you guys know over here, alright? Because next month I'm going to be doing my, um, because once every three months I usually do my speed runs of the cards over here, so I balance that shit out. So without further ado on that, let's get this started. So, um, does any of you guys haven't seen the episode of Family Guy? I just finished watching it just now so I could be caught up with it for the past few days. Um, I, I did mention this on my Rest in Peace Paul Walker Dies at the Age of 40 video, so if you want to check that out, I'll put the link down in the description box below if you want to check that shit out. And, uh, yeah, so I know a lot of Family Guy fanboys. I mean, I was a huge fanboy back in the day of Family Guy, but um, I kind of got tired of it around maybe 2010, 2011 shit, about two, three years ago. Unfortunately, um, he ends up getting killed off the show, and that's, a lot of people were really, really, really pissed the fuck off at this shit. I mean... He was probably like my third favorite character on the show because my first and second favorite character was Peter Griffin and Stewie. And the rest, they were okay. And then Brian after that, it's kind of like meh, you know? But other than that, basically, um, unfortunately, he ends up dying in a car crash accident. And a lot of people were saying, like I said before, my rest in peace, Paul Walker dies at the age of 40 video. And when I did that video yesterday, hopefully a couple of you guys saw that because I only got like one or two views. So shout out to you two people that did it. Unfortunately, he ends up dying, and um, they were going to go out playing hockey and stuff like that, and then Brian, Stewie tries to warn Brian the last second, and says, Brian, don't the deuce, get the hell out of the way, you know, in this little British accent. And uh, we already know that Seth MacFarlane does Peter, Stewie, and Brian's voice, but unfortunately, he's only going to be able to do two voices now instead of one. And some people were saying, oh, why couldn't they kill Chris or Meg, because nobody gives a shit about those two. They only care about usually Peter and Lois and all the other ones like Quagmire and not Cleveland, because he's not there no more. And then Joe and a couple other people, you know? And sorry about the barking. I, um, I forgive me in advance on that shit. Nothing I can do about that. But anyways, besides all that, my opinion, it's a little crazy. You know? I'm going to be straight up honest with you, you know? Another really thing that makes it kind of sad, because he was a funny dude. He usually, you know, would hang out with Stewie most of the time with their crazy little time travel adventures. There's a lot of Blu-ray DVD fans on there. I mean... DVD movies on there if you want to check all that shit out. I remember one really funny, particularly favorite episode that they did was um, the Bag of Weed song. That one was funny as shit. When they were saying, the Bag of Weed, the Bag of Weed, just light that shit up and bag of weed. You know, that one was funny as shit. I remember that episode. And then another episode I remember where um, Stewie gets shit faced and drunk real bad and then Brian has to drive him and keep crashing into shit. Another really funny episode back in the day was um, when they were singing that one song. I forgot what it was. It was the 80s song, like, um, that one song, Don't Stop Believing. You know, the one that they sing for Glee. I forgot what it was called. I think it was from the 80s. That's all I remember, yeah. But other than that, another really thing that kind of sucked that Brian had to die is that, um... And he was all, he was usually the funny comedian dude, you know, that didn't give a shit about stuff. He was kind of like the bad brave for Stewie. That's what he was, you know? He's the one that kind of kept Stewie in place, you know? For out taking the world without kill, trying to kill Lois all the time, you know? If any of you guys ever saw that episode, you know what I'm talking about. Another really crazy thing is that, um, I know he always had his good little gay brother all the time that would, like, make all these gay puns and jokes all the time to wear the earrings and everything. If any of you guys remember that, you know what I'm talking about. And then, unfortunately, later on in the episode, in the end of the episode, they end up adopting that dude named Vinny. He's actually played by Polly Walnuts. If any of you guys ever seen The Sopranos or anything like that, you already know who that dude Polly Walnuts is, which is him right there. It's crazy as shit. I don't know if he's doing some Illuminati sign with those little things on, but he's still a good-ass actor, nevertheless. Fuck it. Other than that, um, it does kind of suck, even though, like, I'm not sure if he's going to be one of the main characters, because they're, like, under season 20, season 25, I think, for Family Guy. This has been going on since fucking 1999. Literally, since my late 90s kids days, this shit's been going on for a super long-ass time. This Family Guy episode basically has been around as long as even, you know, the kids show stuff, like, um, Pokemon, Digimon, and Yu-Gi-Oh! was all on WB and shit. Even though this one's from Fox and shit. It's freaking epic as hell. That's all I'm going to say about it. And the last few things before I go is, um, number one, I'm going to miss all his jokes, his puns. He's, um, Mr. Billy's when he used to go on Drunken Nights, when he used to go on that girl, Michelle or McGilligan. 
I forgot the girl's name. The one who used to date that blonde girl. And the second one was even crazier. That's the thing I'm going to say right there. Sorry for all the barking. Once again, it's kind of windy outside. That's why they're barking like fucking hell. And, uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. The second thing I wanted to say, yeah. They, they used to do that time travel thing in the past and the future. And there was a Stewie Lost episode. I remember I saw that. And I know this one dude. I know. Shout out to that dude, Blaze the Movie Fan. If you're watching this, definitely check him out. He subbed to both of my channels, so you are awesome as hell. Love all his content. He just finished doing, like, that Smurfs like Christmas special review and then another review which I forgot what it was about I think it's top four Indiana Jones like um best movies of all time there so definitely check his shit out over there he's really awesome I'll leave the link down in his description below because he's a really huge fanboy family guy and he really loves the Simpsons a lot too which unfortunately for me I, know I like the Simpsons but I don't like us crazy crazy as much as he does he's definitely awesome definitely check his stuff out and uh, yeah, I'm not sure if he's going to do a response video on that either, how like Brian died and stuff. So Blaze, if you're out there, maybe if you can make a video about that, you know, how you felt of how like Brian Griffin ended up dying and getting hit by a car, you know, that'd be cool. I would love to see that shit. So like I always say, is what it is, ain't what I ain't. See you when I see you guys. Have a good day, have a good night, we're free out around the world. Don't drink smoke weed at the same time, don't do anything reckless. See you soon, see you around, be easy, stay safe, and uh, I'll see you next time. And one more thing, you know, rest in peace to Brian Griffin. 1999 to 2013. Even though he's a cartoon character, what else? Alright, I'm gone, I'm out, and I'll see you soon. Bye.